Okay, we will see the doors closing in a moment. And we can see that nose wheel steering is already disconnected. This is, this is done from the ground. Uh, take notice that here the switch is on, but the ground has a special switch on the ground that they turn off the steering wheel. And the doors are closed and we will start, start the pushback immediately. Uh, parking brake off and we're pushing back. While pushing back, we can continue with the checklist uh, from the line. Okay, uh, trust levers. Trust levers closed. Parking brake. Parking brake is off. We're pushing back. Okay, now after start. All right, so before start checklist is complete, uh, we checked and double checked and triple checked the trust levers because this is very important because uh, the engines will start in any way. So the if the thrust levers would be in middle or max position uh, the engines after the start would automatically uh, go to full thrust and that's very dangerous so we double check that they are in are closed okay after start after start we'll do after the start yeah so the engine start procedures we have everything set up and uh, we put the ignition switch into ignition and start. Okay. So put this into start. Left side, uh, right side, sorry, yeah. And the bleed air goes down and we can see the engine panel automatically pulls up. Uh, and we start the right engine. We start engine number two first because engine number two powers the yellow hydraulic pump and the yellow hydraulic pump powers the brakes. So we start engine number two to have full brakes. And we can see on the display that the N2 is rising. Then ignition turns on. Then fuel flow rises. And then after fuel flow rises in 15 seconds, the engine should start. So we can see N1 and EGT also rising and all pressure rise. Generator 2 turns on. And normal parameters are N1 should be around 19, 19.5, EGT around 390-380 degrees, N2 around 960% and fuel flow should be 280 kilograms per hour so everything looks good engine 2 is started uh, we start engine number one and pushback is complete we also turn on the brakes okay n2 is rising at 18 percent the ignition turns on at 22 fuel flow and then EGT and N1. We'll also try to do a manual start next lesson. And generator one turns on automatically. So N1 stabilizes. At 19%, EGT 384, good, and two normal, full flow normal, and we have all pressure and temperature is good. So, two engine starts, all good, engine start is complete. Uh, after start procedures, after two en normal engine starts, it goes like this uh, engine mode selector we put into normal, and then pilot non flying. So ground spoilers to arm. Arm. Yeah, pull on it. And it's an armed uh, rudder trim should, should be zero. So we reset set. for zero. Good. Uh, uh, flaps one. Flaps one. And pitch trim. Pitch trim. Uh, center of gravity for today is 25%. Uh, we can see the center of gravity on the inner left or inner right side here. And we put the mark 
to the corresponding center of gravity. Good, and EKM door pitch. Check. Yeah, we check that everything is closed and slides are armed. Looks good. Oxygen is good. All right. So while pilot non-flying does the pedestal, pilot flying does the overhead panel. Uh, we put the APU bleed to off. Uh, this would normally be done uh, immediately after engine start uh, to minimize the possibility of uh, inhaling any fumes or, or something like that from the engines into the into the cab. So APU bleed is off, and we turn off the master switch of the APU. It will cool down and turn off automatically. After that, we check the anti-ice. If it's required, we turn on the wing or engine anti-ice. Uh, today, it's not required. So the overhead panel is done. Uh, we check the status, and we're clear to disconnect. So we'll do the after-start checklist now. OK, so after the start, we're ready to taxi. Uh, clearance is given with the taxi no, after start checklist. After start checklist, anti ice. Anti ice not required. Ecam status. Ecam status check. Pitch trim. Pitch trim set. Roger trim. So, yeah, we have pitch trim. So we get 25. Set roller trim zero. Okay, after start checklist complete. Okay, checklist complete. So we turn off the parking brake. Taxi light should be off and then taxi. And uh, frankly, no power is required to start it rolling. We are already moving with no power applied. And we use the wheel. So we apply just a little bit of power. And then check the brakes. Yep, brakes are good. Release the brakes. And now we'll check the flight controls, okay? Full left, full right. Pitch up. Yep, pitch up. Pitch down. Good. And, and the rudder. Full left. Yep. And full right. Okay, good. All right, then the pilot non-flying does the same, but silently, and watches the the e cam and uh, uses the stick to do the the check on, on his side. Let's check it. Uh, okay, so we're while taxiing, uh, we continue to do the procedures. So auto brake maximum. And then do the takeoff configuration test. Yeah, it should show no blue lights. Takeoff configuration is normal. Uh, and then we do the before takeoff checklist. Okay. Before takeoff checklist, uh, flight controls. Flight check. controls check. Flight instruments. Flight instruments check. Briefing. Briefing is completed. Flap setting. Flap uh, is one. Here and we can see flaps one here also. Speeds V1, V rotate, V2. We have V1135, VR140, V2140 set. ATC. ATC is in set form and set. Yep. ECAM memo. Takeoff no blue. Everything is green. And yeah, before takeoff checklist the line is completed. Uh, and we got the clearance to line up on the runway. Uh, so before takeoff, after the line. After the line, takeoff runway uh, confirmed. Cabin crew. Cabin crew is advised. TCAS. TCAS. So T E R A. T E R A. Yep. Engine mode selector. Engine mode selector is normal for today. Packs. Packs are on. One and two. Okay. So before takeoff checklist is completed, uh, I release the brakes. Uh, the pilot non-flying turn, turns on the lights. So strobe lights to on, runway turn off lights to on, landing lights to on, and nose lights to take off. We turn all the lights to on to well, essentially during the day to scare away the birds. So there will be a less chance of a bird strike. 
And of course, during the night, we see the runway better, and that other planes would also see us better. And we turn on the runway. The pilot flying usually does a thrust bump. That means that increases the thrust to around 50% to check if parameters are stable. And then releases back to closed. And we are on the runway ready for takeoff. So takeoff procedures after takeoff climb uh, will be for the second lesson. We'll finish the first lesson here. And then the second lesson will include takeoff and climb and so on and also manual starting. And I believe also some failures during the start. So we'll see what to look for and what to take notice on and what to do if we haven't failed engine start.